Hi everybody. We wanted to meet with you today and give kind of give you some insight to the new uh, SNG outreach program. In particular today we want to talk about the designer program. And I uh, have Fernando here who did a lot of the paperwork and a lot of the research in the Elk Grove store which he manages. They do have a number of different decorators that they have as loyal customers and uh, with chatting with them and getting the um, their information and their input was kind of how we uh, constructed the program. So uh, with that being said there's a few things um, obviously the, actually there's a lot of things to go over but since we're on film today we're just going to hit some of the highlights and the major points and um, I'm going to ask Fernando to jump in here and um, kind of give us his uh, thoughts and um, some of the different paperwork and forms and things like that that you should be aware of. Um, with that, Fernando, here we go. All right, so first things first, um, when I first started the program, I was referring to it as the decorator program. After talking to some of the clients that I work with in the design and decorator world, uh, one thing I realized is when in doubt, we should probably refer to them as an interior designer. Um, the main difference being is the designers are, it's actually, you go to school for it, you, get a, you have to take a test or you have to actually apply for licensing to become a designer. Um, to become a decorator, uh, the requirements are much less, uh, much less stringent and you know, it's pretty much a, something most people can do if you have an eye for it. Um, talking to some of the designers, basically if you call a designer a decorator, it's almost a little bit of a slap in the face versus if you call a decorator a designer, you're making them sound even better. So when in doubt, let's just use designer okay. program, and that's kind of what my that's, take has been. That is it. It's the designer program. Um, the way we're running it up here, and I'm sure it'll be similar in, in the other regions, is I'm basically doing most of the contacting um, outside of the salespeople calling the designers they're already doing business with. I'm doing most of the contacting, and I'm inviting them to come into any of our stores to sign up for the program. Okay. Now, you had a master list with approximately 200 names? 200 for Sacramento. I think it was 193 okay. exactly. Okay. 193 designers that you were able to find their name and phone number from phone book? Uh, yeah. Just use, I worked with one of uh, the salespeople up here, Tammy, and just using Google, Yellow Pages, just kind of hunting and pecking using the internet, we were able to come up with 193 different decorators. Okay, so that's step one, kind of coming up with all the different decorators we can contact and reach out to. After that, I basically have been contacting them, inviting them to come into any of the stores and sign up to be part of the program. I give them a little bit of a taste of what the program is, which I'll introduce to you guys right now. And then I've been spending time at each store kind of getting everybody up to date on what, it, what they need to do when a designer actually comes into the store. And that's kind of where this picks up is once the designer walks into the store and says, hey, I got a phone call from you guys. You're offering this program that I'm interested in. I'd like to hear some more about it and possibly sign up. And what do we do when they walk in the door? And that's what this is all about. Okay, perfect. So basically, a uh, designer walks in the store and says, yeah, I got a phone call from Fernando, Joan, Kelly, anybody, and I'm looking to sign up. Uh, can you tell me some more about the program? Basically, what we want you to do is first treat them like every customer who walks in the door. They may be familiar with S&G, they may not. So do what we call in the Sacramento region, which is take five. Introduce yourself, tell them um, who we are, the history of S&G, what we offer all of our customers, and what we'll be offering their clients. And then the first thing I'd like you to do is take them on a tour of the store. Take them on a tour of your individual store, show them how your showroom is set up, where to find different types of carpets, how the laminates look, how the woods look, vinyls. Walk them through the whole store and basically we want them to feel comfortable that they can use our showroom as their own showroom basically. Right. Um, once you do that um, and you kind of give them the tour and tell them about uh, what S&G has to offer, uh, uh, invite them to sit down with you in a quiet place, conference room, if you guys have a setup out in your showroom somewhere, and then you're going to sit down and you're going to pull out your packet. This is what we're using currently, but I believe soon it'll be a teal folder that doesn't say warranties and guarantees on it, and it'll have all of your necessary information. The packet currently is a four-page packet, and there may be additional literature eventually, but at this time it's basically a four-page packet. Okay. Um, inside the packet, what you have is you have a W-9 form that they'll be filling out. Pretty standard. I believe probably 99% of the designers have filled one out at one time or another. That's a federal tax form that is required for any commission over $600. The other things you'll be filling out is you will fill out a designer registration form. They will fill this out in full. They will sign and you will sign as the person who went through the packet with them. And you will also have them sign a S&G uh, carpet terms and conditions page which has some of the legalese of what is involved in the program, how the commission works and things of that nature. 
And finally, you will give them this, which is basically a little spreadsheet that kind of explains how we calculate their commission and some different examples of how their commission might be calculated in different situations. Okay. Now, when they fill out the forms, they will get the original and we will keep, we'll make photocopies for ourselves. Yeah, the reason why I want to do that is obviously we have letterhead here that's in color. I want them to have the nicest sheets. So the only thing you don't need to make a copy of is this commission sheet because obviously we have them in, in spades. But they want to, you'll make copies of everything to keep for us, probably get to your accounting personnel, whoever that may be, and then they'll keep all the originals. Okay. Great. After you sign them up, which will be going more in detail, you'll basically just be thanking them for coming in. We want to make it crystal clear to them that they're more than welcome to use any of our locations and all of our staff is welcome, is more than happy to help them. Even though you're the person who signs up a designer, I don't want us to be looking at, that's my designer because I signed them up. Absolutely not. We want them to come in as often as they want to any of the stores they want and every client that they bring in is a new job and a new opportunity for whichever salesperson helps them the most. Right. Just like all of our customers, if they buy from us before, Three years later, they want to buy from us again. It's a completely new project, and a different salesperson this time puts in a bunch of time and effort to help them as best they can. That person deserves credit for the job. That's true. So that's basically the, uh, the, the program in a nutshell. And now I just want to come kind of go over some highlights with you of some of the terms and conditions, for instance, of, of what's, what makes up the program. Um, oh, before I get too far ahead of myself, every store will have a designer program binder. Simple three ring binder with a bunch of clear sleeves. Each store's incarnation of this may be a little different, but I just want to make you guys aware of it. The front page is a, and you won't be able to read this, but the front page is a designer registration roster. Every designer who signs up, we want to fill in this roster and have a list of all the designers that are part of our program. Good thing about this is one, you have, we have a going list of who's part of the program. And two, maybe we'll make changes to the program or maybe we can do a special designer night where we invite all the designers in to, to show them all the new stuff we're bringing in for the new year. This is an easy way to have all their information. We call them all in, invite them all in for a dinner or whatever we're going to do to make them feel special. Hopefully this program takes off. We've got 20, 30, 40 designers who are working with us and we may do some special things for them to show our appreciation for all the business we're getting. The other page you're going to see in here um, is to sign up the designer's clients. After a designer signs up, if they have a client, we'll go over in the terms and conditions, the first step of the process is whenever they have a client they want to bring in to us, they're going to call us first and register their client. After they register their client, we put them in here. Now we know that they're going to be coming in to shop with us. And then the phase two would be that the designer comes in with their client for the first time. You're also going to take these designer registration forms. As designers sign up, you make that copy. That copy goes in the binder, and we have a, another backup of all the designers that are part of the program. And we'll go into this binder a little bit more in, in detail in the future. Do we want to get started on the terms and conditions on this section? Um, sure. So, as I was saying, the terms and conditions page, um, you'll read through it all. You want to have a very clear understanding of everything, and I want to make that crystal clear. If you're going to be signing up a designer, you need to understand this page fully, and if you have any questions about any of these terms and conditions, Ask your manager, call me and ask me directly. I'm expecting them to have questions for you, so you've got to feel real comfortable with this before you, answer, before you actually present this to a designer. Um, some of the highlights. Uh, one of the most important ones is, obviously, they have to have the W-9 on file with us before they're officially a member so that we have the proper way of paying them. Um, they need to sit down with someone at S&G and get a full explanation before they're officially a member. Keep going. Uh, you know what? We're going to pause right now because uh, we got to shoot this in two different segments. So uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back to you. Thank you.